uh, let us understand uh, the business and uh, what kind of uh, uh, trade or uh, business we are in and uh, what is the history. Prasad sir, first question to you. Yeah. Sir. Uh, so we founded this Sai since Kalamandir Limited uh, 17 years back in the year 2005. Mm. So I'm a first generation entrepreneur. Uh, before coming okay. into this business, I was uh, living in America and working as a software engineer. So when I wanted to come back and start some business, like, you know, I have done an extensive research to identify a most uh, potential industry which has not, which not only make money, but also it has a long VT. Mm. Out of my research, I figured out that Indian, uh, Indian oriented, uh, like, you know, I mean, like, you know, women oriented Indian ethnic mm. uh, is the industry which closely associate with our uh, weddings, occasions and festivals is the best mm. industry for me to bet on. So with that thought, uh, like, you know, we started uh, our first brand, Kala Mandir, in the year 2005, 17 years back. And uh, from there, in 17 years, uh, we have uh, from one store to, we could able to scale up to 54 stores, from 3,000 plus square feet to 6 lakh square feet from one brand to four successful and sustainable brands, from 50 employees to 5,000 employees. As of uh, today, we are working with uh, hundreds and thousands of weavers, master weavers and vendors across length and breadth of India at around more than 75 to 100 places. So from the beginning, uh, the idea is uh, to focus upon uh, unit economics instead of opening these 50 plus stores across length and breadth of India and calling ourselves as a pan-India brand our entire focus on unit economics. So, so we have adopted to our cluster model of penetration, uh, meaning we have identified potential regions and penetrated well. Today, we are in South uh, as uh, a choice because uh, this is where we believe a major per capita income and spending is there. And we are uh, ethnic player, like you know, we focus upon women-centric ethnic wear. In this part of country, uh, sari is accepted as uh, as a most preferred uh, attire for as Indian uh, Indian ethnic. So that's how you know we could be able to manage that uh, majority of our uh, sale around 67 percent of what we sell is uh, saris. And also like you know last year we have done around 1350 crores of top line and out of which 950 crores saris. So with this, like, you know, I can proudly say, like, you know, we are uh, youngest with just 17 years of heritage who could able to become a top, one of the top uh, ethnic player in India. And we will be the first in this industry to come for an IPO. So I think uh, our, uh, you know, continuous relentless focus upon uh, systems and our professional way of doing things uh, has really helped us to get to this point. Okay. And, yeah. Definitely. So, uh, next question to you, uh, Bharadwaj sir. Um, I would like to understand how much of a break-even point comes from which point comes from which point comes from a new store, because you are planning to open 30 new stores to open for new stores, and locations are almost in the southern India parts, in different states, so you are focused on it. So, Bharadwaj ji, I would like to understand is that, uh, uh, how is the break-even point uh, feasible to you, and what kind of uh, time period you require to achieve that? So. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, as you rightly pointed, uh, we, uh, with this IPO, we plan to proceed to open about 30 new stores in the next two fiscal years. We plan to open seven stores this year, 18 stores the next year, and five stores a year later. If you talk about this entire uh, break-even analysis, we have four formats. These four formats cater to different target segments, different segments of the society. So our expansion, major expansion, will be with our... Uh, premium format, which is called Varamaha Lakshmi Silks format. If you talk about a Varamaha Lakshmi Silks format, the average square footage for store is going to be 5,000 square feet, and the capital expenditure required is 5,000, so close to 2.5 crores is going towards our capex cost. And the inventory requirement will be around 20,000 rupees per square feet. All in put together, it's a close to 12.5 crores of investment per store. Now, talking about our uh, payback, one of the most interesting thing that you will find in a Varama Lakshmi store is our footfall start from day one. So we do a lot of big bang noise in and around the market by putting up our store. So that's why we expect our footfall to come in from day one. And in terms of capex payback, we should expect anywhere around four to five months. And in terms of our uh, payback, which includes of inventory, anytime between 16 to 17 months has been how the industry we have been performing in the last couple of years. And we anticipate a little bit better because if you take our uh, state averages, Tamil Nadu as a state, as a market, if you take, 
our Tamil Nadu state is performing much higher than the company's average. So with this, we strongly believe that, you know, this is going to be our way forward in the future as well. I understand. So, uh, Prasad sir, I would like to know your perspective on e-commerce. Since you are opening 30 new stores, your focus on physical stores is uh, uh, higher. In this uh, e-commerce era, in new uh, millennial generation, what kind of uh, perspective are you having and uh, in what direction in future? you will be uh, taking this company on the online space. So, to look at like, you know, e-commerce perspective, first of all, uh, the industry, what we are in, you know, women-centric Indian ethnic, it's like, you know, most of the industry runs on a touch and feel because like, you know, this is a part of our celebration. If you look at like, you know, for weddings or celebrations, women come in the groups and they will try to see touch and feel. And most importantly, like, you know, they're very particular about the color. You know, when we talk about color, for us, blue is a blue. For them, you know, blue is 10 different shades of blue. So for that, like, you know, from the beginning, this industry, you know, that's the reason why this offline is still going very strong day, day to day. This industry more of touch and feel. But yet, uh, coming to the point of the e-commerce, yes, we have, uh, you know, a lot of focus on that. And, uh, you know, uh, during the COVID, it gave us a great opportunity to seriously work upon our e-commerce project. And as of today, we are talking about in percentage wise, it is around one and a half percent, though percentage wise, it is very less as I told you the fundamental concept of the business. But, you know, in, if you see at the literal numbers, we are growing uh, on an average of 20 percent year on year. And moving forward also, you know, that that growth we will strongly feel because like, you know, we have enough for. Uh, uh, focus on our e-commerce and uh, to be very precise uh, like you know the e-commerce what we do is rather than having a basic website and like you know trying to put the sari pictures but contrast what we did was like you know we have uh, you know seriously focused upon uh, penetrating into the social media by trying to explain about a sari by you know by uh, anchors or celebrities or like you know influencers we get them and we'll try to explain which is very near to real-time experience and uh, that's how like you know this is entire uh, e-commerce story is going and as i told you like you know moving forward also our entire focus will be you know how do we improve that e-commerce uh, you know uh, online sales hmm. Definitely. Uh, good uh, insight overall on this uh, situation. But uh, we would like to uh, know is that the uh, average price point, uh, Bharat Vatsa, the question to you is uh, uh, what kind of uh, price points, because we cater all kind of price points, uh, average price point per product and what is the revenue mix uh, around here? Sure, sir, absolutely. So if you talk about our four formats, Kala Mandir will be our medium middle income class group kind of a segment. Majority is saris. The ASP share will be 1,650 rupees. And if you have to talk about our premium brand, which is called Brand Mandir, here what we focus is designer-focused customizations is possible, one-of-a-kind hand-picked curation. Here our ASP is around 13,500. Talking about Varamaha Lakshmi Silks, which focuses around handloom, ethnic, silk-oriented product profile. Here you can expect a ASP of about close to 5,000 rupees. And our KLM Fashion Mall is a value fashion mall segment, hybrid value fashion mall segment. The ASP is around 650. Now, if you look at the entire spectrum, I think what we were able to successfully do is to kind of give the entire offering so that it caters to all segments of the society, all occasions and all needs. Across the entire board, I think 80% of what we offer is occasion and wedding wear. Now, talking about the products, we source our products from more than 70, 80 cities. Wherever a sari is getting weaved, we try and tend to be there and put all of the entire offering under one roof. And uh, uh, because we have a very, very deep network in terms of our sourcing and supply chain network, that is what we will be reflecting in our stores. And that's the reason why you see a great amount of throughputs in, in terms of much higher than the industry averages here. I can understand. So uh, all the best to Prasad sir and Bharat sir, both of you. And uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, connecting with us. Can I quickly add one point here? Sure, sir, please. Sir, uh, I just wanted to tell that, you know, the primary yeah. issue that we are rating 600 crores, uh, around 400 mm -hmm. crores is going towards our growth capital. We plan to open 30 new stores okay. with that and the working capital associated yes. with it. And uh, the remaining portion is also towards improvising our gross margins. So major amount is going towards our growth capital. And we are trying to go into the most potential format 
most potential market, which is Tamil Nadu, which has a combined potential of Telangana and Andhra put together. And with our, mm. we are trying to target this market with our most premium format, which is Varama Halakshmi Silks format. So all in put together, I okay. think uh, this IPO is help us to do a quick, good long jump in terms of our growth. And uh, we expect the same amount of response as how we are receiving currently in these markets as well. Thank you. Definitely.